Thank you. Hello everyone. Let's have a look at this week's economic news. Thanks, I echo. Key points of this week. HK's property stocks rise as chief executive's housing policy. Hong Kong chief executive Carrie Lam Cheng Yutenger delivered her third policy address on Wednesday. Boosting home ownership and providing more public housing was front and center in her policy address. To help first-time buyers, the special administrative region government will raise the cap on the value of the properties under the mortgage insurance program. It will raise the maximum price of a home that is eligible for a mortgage with a down payment of only 10%, from 4 million Hong Kong dollars to 8 million Hong Kong dollars. The cap for those wanting to borrow 80% of a home's value will also be increased to 10 million Hong Kong dollars from 6 million Hong Kong dollars. Carrie Lam also pledged to increase the number of transitional housing projects substantially to provide a total of 10,000 such units within the next three years. It includes a mortgage loan for buyers who trade their sole apartment for a new one. Thus, the government's move could boost demand for properties. Property stocks raised, especially Sun Hung Kai Properties, 16, Henderson Land Development, 12, CK Asset Holdings, 1313, and New World Development, 17. And New World Development jumped by as much as 4%. The Hang Seng Index rose to one month high, by as much as 0.8% to an intraday high of 26,869.39 on Wednesday, because of developers' advance on housing policy, US China trade talks went well and Boris Johnson agreed new Brexit deal with EU. However, since China's economy grew at the slowest rate, 6%, in 27 years in the third quarter, official figures showed on Friday, it would be difficult to push the Hong Kong stock indexes to 27,000 points mark for a short time. The benchmark Hang Seng Index traded between 26,985.08 and 26,650.13 on Friday. Stocks closed down 128.91 points or 0.48%, to 26,719.58 points. Turnover totaled 77.087 billion Hong Kong dollars. Chinese stocks closed lower, with the Hang Seng China Enterprises Smart Index low 0.45% at 10,540.04 points. The Shanghai Stock Exchange Composite Index lost 39.19 points at 2,938.14 points. Thanks for watching. I will see you again next week. Bye bye.